Hey guys, welcome to QuickCast number 4 and today I will be showing you how to run DOS games on your Mac computer. Also, towards the end of the game, I will share with you a download link to one of my favorite games of all time and I'll also show you how to run this game. But without further ado, let's head on to Safari and let's go to the emulator's website. So the emulator is called Boxer. So you can head on to this website called boxerapp.com and there you'll be presented with the download link for the emulator. Now if you click on the link, it's around 20 MBs. Now, once the download is done, you'll see that the Safari has automatically extracted the app for you. And it's just basically an app file that is it has extracted. So you just need to drag and drop this in the applications folder in order to install the app. Just that. And there you have it. You have your app installed. Now, let's head on to Safari again. And before we do anything else, we have to download some games to run on this particular software. Now, what I'm going to do now is download one of my all-time favorite DOS games. And where can you do that? So you can head on to this website called dosgamesarchive.com and here you'll find most of your favorite games. If you have a favorite from the DOS generation, you'll find most of the favorite games here. Now, there's a search function and you can search for games here. So my favorite game that I was talking about is Skyroads. Many of you might remember it, many of you are new to it, but once you play it, you'll understand that it's fantastic games. So it says there is a full version available of this game. And it says uh, the year of release is 1993, and I pretty much can relate to it. So there is a special of this game as well, and there's the original Skyroads game. So for today, we'll continue with the original Skyroads game. So here you'll have the skyroads.zip file, which is a download link to the game, and it's just merely 50 KB. So here you'll be given another link, and if you click on that, the download will start. And once again, you will be given a folder, and this, this particular zip file will already be extracted for you, and you'll have a folder with all these files. You don't need to bother about these at all. So now comes the time when you run this game on Boxer app. I'll hide Safari, and I will open Boxer app. Now, it will give you a warning that it has been downloaded from the internet and you can just click open. Once it is open, it'll say that welcome to Boxer and you can actually import a new game. So anytime you want to install a new game you have downloaded from DOS Games Archives, you have to do it this way. So I'll click on import a new game and I will drop this game here. It will automatically detect the game and whatever process it does, it will do all the processing and it will say that, do I want to launch this game? Yes, I do. And it'll say which is the application you want to run. So basically the skyroads.exe is the application that I want to run. And if I click on that, it'll ask me whether I want to launch it every time. And I'll say yes, I want to launch it every time. And I'll minimize the volume. Uh, we don't need that much of, of a volume right now. And see, the intro has started rolling. And this game basically is an endless runner game. I'll just press enter to skip that and start. So this is the road one. And as you progress through the game, it'll get more and more difficult. The levels will get more and more difficult. So I'll start with road one. And as you can see, you'll, you can use all the four arrow keys to control the ship and the space bar to jump. So if I press and hold the front arrow key, it will take me to maximum speed. As you can see, I am almost towards the end of the level so I can increase the speed. And there it goes. If you haven't played this game before, you will be completely hooked to this game after a few roads. So enough of that. I'll just quit this game. And as you can see, I am given a command line basically. So I will quit up this game as well and open the Boxer app again. So DOSBox also provides a few games bundled with its app. So if you click on browse your games, you will see all the bundled games here. So out of all these games, you will instantly recognize Pinball. I hope everyone recognizes Pinball and Commander Keen as well. Now it's time for the game I promised. So the game I was talking about is Prince of 
Persia. This is one of my favorite games. The Prince of Persia by Jordan Mechner that was released in 1990 and Prince of Persia 2 by Jordan Mechner again which was released in 1993. These are two of my most favorite games which I have played throughout my teens. So to download the game you just need to follow this link. So it's bit.ly slash prince hyphen of hyphen Persia hyphen 1990 and you'll be redirected to a google drive link from where you can download the zip file that contains both prince of persia 1 and prince of persia 2 the original adventures so again depending upon your download speed it will take some time to download so once you've downloaded this and extracted the zip file you need to go through a few steps to actually install this game so if you say import a new game and drag any of the two folders boxer will ask for which is the installer file so it's generally install.exe and you can press on launch installer you will be again asked where you want to install this particular game and let it remain whatever it chooses by default just press enter now boxer will ask whether you want to create this directory you press on y so it says that shadow and flame has been installed you press enter and now you have to select the memory you select use high memory if available go down and say save configuration and exit press on y when you are asked and next what you need to do is you will see boxer asks whether the game has finished importing or not so you can say it has finished importing launch game and it will say which program to run and you obviously click on prince.exe and then you also check the box that it says launch every time so it will launch prince.exe every time and as you can see the game has started intro has started rolling I'm just mesmerized by this game so so much this game and its previous game as well I'm just impressed by it so once you're done with installing all the games that you require or you will play ever you can just go on to browse your games and select whichever game you like and just double click on it and start playing it so with that out of the way I hope you've learned now how to install and play DOS games on your computer and I sincerely hope that you enjoy playing all the DOS games that you can find online. For me personally finding this app was almost like reliving my childhood. So if you like this video and the videos I produce don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So that brings us to the end of this video. Hope you have enjoyed this quick cast. This is Upamanyu signing off. Thank you.